Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I am going to present my research paper which I have implemented a SAR ADC on 180 nanometer CMOS technology for biomedical applications. In today's presentation, uh, the table of contents are biography, a little about myself, research paper findings and results. My name is Zargam Haider Kazmi. I am working as a design engineer in National Institute of Electronics, Pakistan. Currently, I am working on IC designs, uh, research on IC designs uh, under the supervision of Mr. Muhammad Kamran Bhatti. I am BS Electronics Engineer from University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, which is certified from Pakistan Engineering Council. I am also a Allegro PCB Design Engineer certified by Cadence and I am also a Allegro Package Designer certified by Cadence. Uh, if we talk about the uh, ADC, uh, why I have choose the ADC as we know that in the whole universe all the signals are uh, analog and every signal in exists in the universe is analog. Let's say if there is humidity sensor, uh, heat sensor or any, any other sensor which is going to capture the information from the universe and we are going to compute that information in machine. Then we have to convert that analog signal to digital signal. For that purpose in every device we need very first device that is ADC which will convert that signal into digital signal. In recent years, the demand of energy efficient electronic system and devices has significantly increased. Due to the high demand for smart and portable devices, uh, we, we, are, we, are, we are working on the IC designs which are very power efficient. So ADC play a very crucial role because in every device, the main building block is also ADC. So uh, I worked on ADC. There are various ADC architectures available for different applications. Delta Sigma ADCs are suitable for high resolution conversions. Flash ADCs, however, flash ADCs consume significant power due to the large number of comparators. Fireplane ADCs are used for high speed and medium resolution applications, but they are not they are not suitable for low power devices due to the power consumption of high gain and power amplifiers. Among various types of ADCs, the successive approximation register uh, registers ADC that is that we say in SAR ADC. SAR ADCs are the best choice for smart devices as they consume very low power and offer high conversion rates with moderate resolution. You know conversion rates, the, the effective number of bits. Every every different uh, ADC have different number of uh, effective number of bits. So that is the conversion uh, rate of conversion of single ADC. The focus of this research paper is on the design and implementation of a low power CMOS SAR ADC specifically tailored for smart devices. The main objective of this project is to design and implement a transistor level low power high speed integrated circuit of uh, SAR ADC and uh, it is aims to utilize standard low cost CMOS technology to achieve high accuracy and low power consumption surpassing the performance of existing ADC structures. Specific goals of the project include uh, identifying the different integrated circuits in CMOS technology suitable for smart devices, exploring and selecting suitable architectures for the ADC that are optimized for low power operation in smart devices, investigating the limitations of different ADC architectures and addressing them in the design. Implementing the SAR ADC at the transistor level considering the specific requirements of smart devices. Creating a layout for the integrated circuits of the SAR ADC ensuring proper integration and compatibility with CMOS technology. By achieving these objectives, uh, the project aims to contribute to the development of efficient low power ADC for smart devices enabling accurate analog to digital conversion with minimal energy consumption. So for these uh, to achieve these these objectives, you know, there is a block of uh, sample and hold uh, of ADC. We have omit that uh, block from this uh, our, our this design. We implemented this 10 bit SAR ADC in 180 nanometer uh, and 
and this work is for 2 kilohertz frequency and uh, supply voltage is 1 volt this RADC system consists of SAR logic, dynamic comparator and a capacitive digital to analog converter that DAC will, will also act as a sample and hold uh, circuit. The system achieves a maximum effective number of bits 8.93 out of 10 you know at 2 kilohertz frequency. The THD of 55 dB is a, a total power consumption of 134.124 microwatt SAR RADC. Conversion operation consists of three main operations. As you can see in the block diagram, the first uh, block is a comparator and then SAR logic and then uh, DAC. This uh, digital output of SAR logic will become input to the DAC and this will output of the DAC will go into the comparator. And uh, you here on, on the right side, you can see that uh, if the output of DAC goes to the uh, comparator, and then comparator will decide that if v in and v ref there will be v ref and v in we will v in uh, v if the v in is greater than v f v ref comparator output will uh, will become one and v if v n is uh, greater than v ref then output of comparator will become zero and so on these 10 bits results we we have achieved and after that comparison i have shown three comparison in the uh, in this diagram so uh, the, the fourth block at the end of uh, the SAR logic this is a register just to save the uh, results so DAC, the DAC will uh, perform separate and hold comparison for uh, n times up to our uh, desire output and digital code this is my SAR logic that I have uh, used uh, NOR gates and transmission gates and uh, the SAR logic generates the digital code uh, as I uh, told earlier in the previous uh, slide that SAR logic generates the digital code for the DAC in each comparison state. SAR logic blocks consists of two rows of D flip flops and these are connected in series as shown in, uh, uh, in this diagram. When one clock is high, other clock are low d0 to d09 sample the binary output codes for comparator and distribute control signal for the DAC switching so uh, after this dynamic comparator that is very uh, important stage of this uh, design comparator compare the output of DAC give the result in the form of high or low in dynamic comparators no there is no static current flow that is also the need to uh, make the ADC efficient uh, and power efficient. Comparator have two main uh, part amplifier and dynamic latch. Dynamic, uh, at the end I have you can see that at, at the end uh, I have used dynamic latch. The pre amplifier is to uh, amplify the signal input signal and stop kick, uh, kickback noise and latch the DCM. So the next block of ADC is charge redistribution DAC. DAC is also, also very important. It is also consumes uh, power and uh, if we uh, use efficient DAC in uh, our design of our ADC, then our, our whole ADC will become also power efficient. The digital code that we will receive from the SAR, that DAC will convert this uh, digital uh, input again to the analog. This converted analog voltage level will go to the comparator. The uh, linearity of ADC is limited due to the linearity of the DAC which is produced due to the capacitor mismatch. When we choose the value of ca capacitor that is a really, uh, critical point in the DAC. Where these capacitors will also you can see in the, at, the, at the top you will see in, uh, the capacitors. The value of these capacitors will also uh, uh, act a very uh, crucial role uh, in creating the delay for the sample and hold. Thus, choose the small size pressure boost the linearity, but small size pressure generate all you know the, the thermal noise. So we will use the value where we we uh, don't disturb the linearity and uh, there is no noise, thermal noise. So uh, in this my uh, design, I have used uh, 12 picofarad capacitor for MSB the most significant bit and 2.8 femtofarad for uh, unit place uh, most significant bit at unit uh, unit bit 
so in the results you can see the, my results are very in, uh, accurate analog are very in, uh, i became very happy when i saw these results after very too many variations of values of capacitors and uh, saw adc uh, when i simulate the whole saw adc and i calculated the power consumption uh, saw adc in, uh, as it is uh, the supply voltage of my uh, design is 1 volt and uh, pons is giving the digital uh, that is also shown uh, uh, at the uh, bottom of this slide and to, to measure and performance of adc first we know that the output value from the uh, transient response of data low performing and op operation on it and find thd of, of an adc by using simulation calculation calculator and system achieve 56 db thd the uh, key parameters or technology, power supply, resolution, sampling rate, and common mode voltage, differential input range, sim, uh, sampling. I have also noted these my, my results here that I have used 180 nanometer CMOS technology. Power supply is one volt. It resolution is 10 bit, and the sampling rate is 20 mega cycles per second. And we can see that uh, two kilohertz frequency from, from the sampling heard. We can get two kilohertz frequency. Common mode voltage is 0.5 volt. And differential input range is uh, one volt also sampling unit cap is 2 femtofarad and uh, uh, you know uh, I, I have uh, told in uh, previous slides about the capacitors total power of my uh, design is 134.136 microwatt and thd of my design is 55.56 decibel uh, db and effective number of bits out of 10 are uh, 8.93 and uh, here is uh, my design of adc if you have any question, I am uh, here to answer. Um, thank you so much. And Assalamu alaikum everyone from Pakistan.